Hi and welcome to part 3 of my tutorial on making a third person character controller. So um, I've got the character controller all working but we need the camera now to orbit around um, this player. So uh, we're just going to get ourselves started with a script. Again, um, inside my scripts folder I'm going to create a new C-sharp script. Um, this time I'm going to call it third person camera controller. And I hope I spelled that right. Um, I'm just going to open this one up inside of Visual Studio and we can start coding. So we're going to just do some of the... Um, actually I'm going to get rid of this uh, start function because we're not going to need it. Um, we're just going to do some of the variables in here first up. So um, I'm going to need a handle to the um, object that I want to track, so the player, so I'm just going to call this a public transform player. I'm going to also, also want um, to have the offset that we want the camera to move to, so I'm going to make a public uh, vector 3, we're going to call this offset, and I'm going to initialize it to a new vector 3, and I'm just going to say 0, 0, minus 10, so it's minus, it's 10 units back from the player. I'm also going to want to track the rotation of the uh, camera, so where the rotation, uh, the x and the, z, the y rotations actually. So I'm just going to say um, x, oh, name this properly, rotation, I'm going to make this, um, I'll just say 45 um, for now, just so it's a bit of an angle. And I'm going to make the Y rotation as well. I'm just going to make that one as a 0 to begin with, 0F. Uh, okay, so um, I'm going to do this inside the update for now. It's probably best done inside of a uh, late update because it's camera movement and it's best to, it's less jerky if you do it like that. Um, so the first thing I need to do is to work out the actual rotation um, of this as a quaternion. So um, I'm just going to create one. So I'm going to say um, quaternion. And just because I don't want to type a lot, I'm going to call it rot. I'm going to make it equal to um, initialize it as a quaternion dot Euler. So that's just the x, y, and z components. So obviously um, I want the x rotation and the y rotation and a zero around the z because we don't want it to be um, tipping like that. Uh, the next thing we need to do is using that the magic of rotation, um, the magic of quaternions, is if we if we multiply the offset by this rotation we'll actually get the rotated vector. Um, this vector will be rotated by this rotation. Um, and obviously that's the easiest way to get that done um, but we obviously need to add on the player position as well so I'm um, just going to say um, transform dot position equals the player's position uh, plus the rotation times the offset and it's that simple it's one of those weird things um, quaternions are so odd but so powerful. Um, unless you understand about this whole multiplying a quaternion by a vector, um, this would like, seem like magic, um, which it kind of is. The, the other uh, thing uh, from experience that I found is um, this we don't need to do uh, a look at as well. We can actually just say transform.rotation equals that um, rotation. And because um, we've already calculated it as a Euler, it's going to end up being exactly what we need it to be. Um, so that's kind of handy as well. So if we save this um, and run it, you'll find that those three lines should make, um, just make sure that the main camera has got the script. Third person camera controller, yep, main camera, drag it on. Um, can actually move these like that so we can see the, the full names so and the names are so long. And this camera controller needs to track the player. Um, and if we hit play right now, what we should see is that the, the camera will be rotated around about 45 degrees. And as I move the player around, this moves around too. So we're, we're nearly there. Uh, moving on to the next part, we need to take the input. So 
So um, we're just going to take the input directly and change these um, X rotation and Y rotation. Um, so if I just say um, X rotation minus equals, and this is just from experience, if you find that it goes the wrong way around, you can change this. So um, I'm going to get the mouse axis. I'm going to get the mouse Y. So this is the up and down. This X rotation will be the, the up and down that we'll have. And the um, you need to get this right. So it's capital M mouse and then a capital Y. Um, and then the um, Y rotation is equal to plus equals input dot get axis and this time it's mouse X and just checking over that so it's capital M capital X and we're adding that one on um, we have more or less what we're after here so once this is compiled we'll hit run and you'll see that as you move the mouse we orbit around and we continue to look and as we move the mouse we also only move in the direction that we are telling the player to move so it's uh, pretty close to what we're after. Um, the one problem is, um, in fact, I'm just going to show you, the one problem with this one is um, when you rotate around, if you go beyond and above a certain amount, you can go all the way around. So we need to try and clamp those values. So if I jump straight to here, we're going to clamp this um, the X rotation. Um, I'm going to create I'll just hard code it for now and then we can maybe make some public variables for it. So uh, what we'll do is we'll say that the X rotation minus equals input um, but before we do anything else we're gonna um, we're gonna have to clamp that value so we're just gonna say X rotation equals and we use mathf.clamp in order to do that um, so we're going to clamp the X rotation, the smallest value we're going to go for is 0 and the largest value we're going to go for is let's say 80. Um, so if we try this, um, what we should do is that this value won't go above 80 or below 0. Um, jumping back to Unity, I'm didn't test this bit before I recorded it, so I'm hoping it'll go OK. Um, so this time we go down to there and up to here, so that looks pretty good. Um, when we're doing this, it looks like it's exactly what it needs. So uh, that's more or less it for the third person camera. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, maybe do some animation as well, trigger some animation, and I'm also going to make it jump in the next one. So right now we have more or less functional third person camera controller um, but we're going to add a little bit of the uh, couple of features in in the next video hope you've enjoyed it cheers